Welcome back everyone. In this video, we're going to go over configuring basic ISIS adjacencies within a single area. And we're going to focus on point to point links for this video. On the next video, we're going to do broadcast, which isn't more complicated, just gets a little bit more, you know, in depth. But this video should be fairly short and the next video will be a little bit longer and then we can kind of go into areas and levels and, and things like that. So for this video, since we're doing point to point links, we're really going to focus on this area, area 20. And the first adjacency we're going to create is between R2 and R5. So we'll just kind of spin it up by default, see what it looks like, and then kind of make some optimizations to it to get things the way we want before we start going into a different area. So let's hop into the CLI on router two, uh, router two. And you can see our net address, we have 490020 for the area, and then it's just system ID is two. So the configuration will be very simple here. Uh, we're gonna go to the interface towards five, and we enable IP router ISIS. And the only other thing we wanna do to start is we wanna make this a point to point link. So just like in OSPF and ISIS, by default on Ethernet segments, it's going to be broadcast. So what we'll do is the command is ISIS, network, and you can see our only other option here is point to point. There's no other options after that. That's the full command. So let's go ahead down to router five, which we could see is in the same area. It has a different system ID. And we'll go to the link towards two, IP router ISIS lab and the ISIS network is point to point. Okay. So there's two commands we can run to verify the neighbor relationships. We can do show ISIS neighbors or show CLNS neighbors. They pretty much show the same thing. They're slightly different, obviously, but you know, you could see that we the neighbor is up, so obviously it worked. You could see the type here, which is interesting, is L1, L2. And, you know, other than that, we're up and running. So just as a note here, for basic ISIS neighbors to come up, obviously things like authentication must, must match. They must be in the same subnet. Um, the system ID must be unique if they're in the same area, and the MTU must also match, you know, just like in OSPF. The things that are unique to ISIS, though, is that you can only form L1 adjacencies within the area. You can form L2 adjacencies within the area or inter-area, okay? But... You know, an L1 router can't form an adjacency with an L2 router and vice versa. So by default, the Cisco router creates an L1 and L2 adjacency on each link. So they're running L1 and L2 by default. This, if your network is small, doesn't need to be a problem. In our network, it's really not that big of a deal. The thing is, though, is that if I do a show ISIS database... You can see I'm running an ISIS level one link state database and then a level two link state database. And they're both holding the exact same information. So the network is so small where it doesn't really matter, but obviously as your network gets larger and larger, this is gonna cause some scalability problems and you know why waste resources? So what we will do to make this better or streamline things, is we're going to take this entire area of area 20 and put the entire area in level one. What that means though, is that this link will be a level one only. This link will be a level one only. Same with these three. These will all be level one only. But the link between R1 and R2 will have to be a level two link. So, what does that mean for our configuration? Well, what it basically means is that 
on router six, router seven, and router five, I can make those entire routers level one. On router two, the router still needs to be capable of L1 and L2. I just need to configure the links. So again, don't get too bogged up in the levels right now. I'm just <clears throat> trying to show you the configuration. I'm going to make a video that goes really in depth into the levels, but we just want to get these areas configured first and really just focus on building point to point networks. The point to point stuff is super simple. It, it's already done. It was just two commands. So let's hop back into the CLI. What I'll show you is on router two, the link to five. We're gonna do ISIS circuits type. So there's a network type and a circuit type. And the circuit type is going to be level one. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing to six. ISIS circuit type level one. Now, on router 5, instead of doing that for each interface, I'm going to do it for the entire router because this entire router is within a single area. So router ISIS lab. This command is IS type level 1. All right. So now, if I do a show ISIS neighbors, it does take a second to converge. So while it's converging, let me go over to router six and I'll just configure the same thing. Comp T, router, ISIS lab, IS type is going to be level one. And then I'll do the link towards two is going to be IP router, sorry, router, ISIS lab. And then remember, ISIS network is going to be point to point. And the same thing to the link towards five. It's going to be point to point. We enable it on the link. So the, the IS, ISIS configuration is really simple. Just, just want to, you know, kind of repeat that, back, that fact. It's a very simple configuration. Show ISIS neighbors. Uh, still not coming up yet. I feel like... Let's see, show ISIS neighbors. Okay, I have the R5 link. My virtual equipment can be slow sometimes, but the R5 link is up. So if we went back to R5, we can see it's up. But this time we see that it's only a type level one. And if we do a show ISIS database, it's we only have the level one database now. We don't have a level two database because we are not a level one slash L2 router. So, router six, still hasn't come up yet, but that's okay. On router five, let me go ahead and gig six, let me do IP router ISIS lab, and then net, whoops, ISIS network is going to be point to point. Okay, so essentially that's all there is to the configuration. Um, it's a pretty simple process. Let's see if the neighbors are up. Okay, finally the neighbors are up. So we have R2 and R6. Uh, I don't need to show you R7 because it's literally just going to be repeated. But what we've done here is we now have adjacency, adjacency, adjacency. We will have some here. Um, I'm just going to do that off screen. I, you know, do it yourself just to kind of get used to the process. And these are all level one. Okay. So in the next video, we're going to go to area 10 and create level one adjacencies here, but it's going to be broadcast. So it will be slightly different. And then in between the levels, we will have, I mean, sorry, in between the areas, we will have level two. So this is probably a longer video than I needed for such a simple process, but I just want you to see that creating ISIS point to point networks is super simple. Um, the only thing I didn't do actually is advertise any loopbacks, but you know, it's, it's a, it's a simple process. Conf T go into the loopback IP router, ISIS lab. That's how you advertise the network. Um, and I can go do that in the other links, but if I go to like router two and now I do a show IP route, ISIS, 
I see Router 5's loopback is in here. So again, thanks for watching. I'm going to jump right into the next video where I'm going to do broadcast networks. So I should be able to publish that uh, pretty soon after this one. And then from there, you know, you guys are probably still a little confused on the area versus levels thing. Don't worry. It will be made clear. Um, stick with me. So we'll see you on the next video and thanks for watching.